What's up, wine drinking pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to show you a, a wine bottle opener. It's a standing wine bottle opener that I got. And uh, this is kind of typical of, you know, the stylish old school um, wine bottle openers. I, I don't think they're super popular unless you really are a big wine drinker and you kind of want to have this out all the time. But, you know, the Rabbit, you know, uh, portable handheld wine bottle openers are very, very similar and kind of do the same thing. But they come with this big base plate. Uh, in this case, this bottom part is kind of like a cast metal. Uh, and then there's like this fake wood platform on it. It has a, uh, a very wide, like an inch and a half inch wide steel. It looks like it's powder coated bar that uh, comes up and it's just like a flat sheet metal as you can see right here. And what ends up happening is that the wine bottle opener piece right there ends up attaching via a screw right here, basically a clamp, just like a hardware clamp, to this bar. So it gives you this look of kind of the floating wine bottle opener and uh, you can open wine bottles. Now I actually found a wine bottle, it has a cork, so many wine bottles these days actually have screw caps because I wanted to quick demonstrate it. It's kind of cool, uh, you know, they're about 50 bucks. So if you want something like this for style more than functionality, I think it's a, it's kind of a cool piece. But, you know, like I said, uh, pretty much every small wine bottle opener that you keep in your drawer works just as well. Now, I will say it's kind of got this cool, it's like cast metal, but it uh, looks like it's kind of a vintage brass, so, you know, antique to color, it's a little like, you know, gold bronze-ish. Um, mine here has like grapes molded into it. It says Vintners on this side and Reserve on the other. Uh, it has this curved handle with like a wooden grip on it, um, just uh, bolted in on the back. And this is what you use to press the, the, the screw, corkscrew up and down. And then on the bottom here we have um, a Kind of a clamping gripping handle where the bo bottle will go in here and then you hold it in place right there um, again you know some decoration engraved on it this is kind of nice to give you a little bit of grip but a couple things i wanted to show you about it and kind of criticize maybe even a little bit is that you know if we look at the way the top is designed you're actually pulling the handle like this Let's look at it straight on. You're pulling the handle towards you to move that corkscrew up and down. As you can, as you might be able to see here, one full pull, you know, when it gets to the top, it reaches the lowest part, part. When you get it all the way back to you, it pulls it down. So it kind of plunges the corkscrew up and down on one full pull here, which is about, you know, uh, three quarters of a circle. And then you're gonna hold the bottle in place. Now, my, my issue with this is, when you're pulling down like this, you're kind of torquing the whole thing towards you. And so it would be nice if the handle were up here in the front. I get that there's gonna be interference here, but you, you're kind of holding the opener um, this way and you're kind of twisting it f f uh, f directionally towards you. And so you're kind of, you've got two forces kind of moving in different directions. Uh, again, it's braced on this, this metal bar here, but you know, it'd almost be easier to have, you know, to be able to kind of have both forces opposing each other directly. But I wanted to show you um, it in action here. And so what I'm gonna do is take this bottle, as you can see here, that uh, you know there's plenty of space. The bottle won't necessarily sit up in here on its own. You have to lift it and hold it in there. One of the things that I'm not a huge fan of is you're really counting on these grips here to hold the bottle in place, right? So you have nothing, um, you know, supporting the bottle from the bottom. And the nice thing about kind of those, the rabbits is that you can put this on the bottle and then put the bottle on the table or your counter and you don't have to worry about it, you know, getting pushed out of the bottom there, right? It's gonna be sitting on the counter. This, you don't have it. You're really counting strictly on your grip strength to hold it in. Now there are little rubber um, pads on the inside here so it should hopefully get a good grip and as you can see we have the cork right there so I'm gonna put it in here I'm gonna grip it pretty hard and I'm gonna pull the corkscrew handle all the way down now it's pushed it in I can feel it and I'm trying to torque it down here so it'll pull it all the way back out and I'm gonna release here and pull As you can see the cork hasn't come all the way out so I'm gonna pull it down there and we have the bottle uncorked now as you can see there even though this is a pretty stiff metal bar, it is twisting it down. I mean, this does have a little play in it and you're kind of balancing those forces. Now, I wanna show you 
that the corkscrew is fully retracted here and if I uh, kind of lift the handle up what you see is the cork kind of comes back down so what you actually have to do is you want to grab the cork at the lowest point with these grippers and then pull the handle back and now that cork is basically free of the cork screw so that's how you do it boom so it definitely works and it's kind of a cool showpiece um, but uh, is it the most practical like I said it pretty much anything works but if you're a big wine drinker and you kind of want this out all the time or you want people to not ask you where your corkscrew is or whatever uh, then definitely pick one up for under 50 bucks it's kind of actually it's a pretty um, kind of uh, impressive piece it has a lot of presence although its practicality is you know no better than a lot of other things so you know check it out I'll put a link to it in the description but um, drink your vino with some style. There it is. Peter Von Pand out.